Hello everyone and welcome to the Mongrel Grill. Here we are with you again with another dry aging cabinet video. In this video, I wanted to make a few changes on my dry aging cabinet. Uh, first thing first, the temperature controller had failed. Unfortunately, at a very bad timing, I had a prime grade ribeye in there for exactly 59 days. It was perfectly dry aged and when it failed, it was too late for me to realize my Wi-Fi connection was disrupted and uh, today uh, I am going to be fixing it. On top of that, I will be upgrading the um, humidity controller to another Inkbird uh, humidity controller that can also be hooked up to the Wi-Fi. This time I, had a more, I have a more stabilized uh, Wi-Fi connection because I just installed an access point to my outdoor kitchen, which you will see in a video of uh, very soon, hopefully. And uh, on top of that, I will also be covering this glass with a UV filter, thanks to a recommendation for, uh, from uh, one of my viewers. So uh, let's get going and make this cabinet work again. In this setup, uh, these wires are going through a little hole right behind that panel over there. And uh, you see, uh, those sensors do not fit through there. What I had to do was cut the wires, feed the wire through the hole, and then make the connections in the back. And uh, basically, that's what I end up with for a cleaner install. Anyways, so for the new Inkbird, this is what I'm going to be using, the ITC308 uh, Wi-Fi. And this is the uh, temperature probe. Uh, that's a very uh, small one and can actually fit through anything. But for, uh, as you can see, those uh, humidity sensors, they're slightly large and the new device is going to be the IHC200 Wi-Fi. And this is the uh, humidity sensor. Now, this is not going to fit through those little holes. What I'm going to be doing is make a uh, hole with this. And uh, the size is uh, 35 millimeters, three and a half centimeters, which is, uh, let's check the box, one three eighth inches. So I'm gonna be drilling a hole from there. That way, next time, if that ever fails, I won't have to do the uh, splicing and everything. Uh, takes too much time. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill that. So the fridge has been fixed pretty much. The only thing that I uh, need to do is apply the UV filtering film. And also while I was at it, I was thinking, uh, when the desiccant dehumidifier works and uh, does its job, it fills this bucket, and every now and then I have to empty the bucket. However, here's a problem with that. If I'm not around and if the bucket is filled up, it will stop dehumidifying, but still it'll blow its air into uh, the fridge. and it's basically warm air, so it's not really an optimal solution. So what I wanted to do right now is basically hook it up to uh, a clear tube and discharge that water constantly. That way I don't have to worry about water buildup in here and it'll be discharged through this um, hole that was already in there that I had sealed before. So I'm gonna open that up, drill it down to allow this uh, pipe to go through here and then um, Hopefully, uh, I will never have to uh, worry about the uh, water bucket being filled up. So let's get going with that.
then my next step is going to be putting this um, UV filter uh, on. Uh, well, in the description of the uh, Amazon website, it says explosion proof, shatter proof. So I guess if the meat explodes inside, this is going to protect us on the outside. So let's get going. I'm going to go ahead uh, and uh, take a measurement and um, start to uh, put this one from there. So all the shelves have been cleaned. The interior of the cabinet has been also cleaned and now we're ready to power it up. We also have the UV protective film in place and now I can power it up. And when I do so, these devices will sound the alarm because the temperature and humidity values are out of range. When that happens, I'm just going to quiet them for now, uh, ignore the alarm. And uh, now at this point, what I can do is uh, the UV lights are on as well. Well, while these are on, I can do whatever I want and nothing will happen. Let me uh, shut this one off too. All right, so we're good. Um, so I'm gonna let this run for a little while so that the values uh, that I'm looking for get into place. And uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna leave the UV light on. That way um, the interior is going to be uh, nicely uh, cleaned. And uh, while this is happening, I'm gonna get my rib eyes, give them a nice cleaning, and place them in there. And, uh, oh, one more thing, uh, the new devices. I need to uh, add them onto my application. I can do that, but in the meantime, I'm just going to set them manually right on the screen. And uh, that'll be it, so let's get going. So I've been wet aging this rib eye. Let's see, yeah, made right at home. And, Natural beef, that's a good thing. That's what I love. Here, let's go take these and clean up. Oh my God, this was a little heavy. A little, no, a little too heavy. There's just about 60 pounds of beef over here. So um, let me just rotate it. Okay. I'm not sure if you can see from uh, the camera, but uh, I've added the label. And in the, on the label, I got the date, and uh, the, uh, the weight of it. Uh, that way, when this is done, I can see how much weight loss has uh, occurred. So I'm gonna place them one by one. This time, I believe my cabinet is sanitized. I can fit two of them next to each other. So I got three USDA prime grade ribeye this time. With my previous uh, experiment I had two fans on and uh, I noticed that there was uh, a lot more than expected uh, meat uh, loss so this time I only have one and uh, let's see how uh, this is gonna uh, come out well in the meantime right behind that wall I got my outdoor kitchen and uh, in the upcoming videos I want to show you how I built that and that's where I will be uh, doing most of my YouTube videos. So uh, this pretty much uh, concludes the video. I really hope that these additions uh, have answered many of your uh, questions. I try to um, uh, pinpoint to uh, as many topics as possible. So um, if you do have any uh, questions, comments, please feel free to leave them right below here and um, I will see you uh, with the uh, next videos. Thanks a lot for watching this video and you have a great day. Bye-bye.